everyone welcome back I hope you all had a fantastic week happy Friday to everyone I hope you had a good Valentine's Day if you celebrate that kind of thing I love Valentine's Day I really do I'm like a big fan of the Hallmark holiday honestly I love Valentine's Day we had a great Valentine's Day for Brad I got him Dallas Mavs tickets so we all went to the Mavericks game and he um, got me my first favorite which is what I'm wearing he also it was cute I was on my way home from work and he called me he was like where are you at I told him I would be home in a few minutes and when I walked in, he had the boys with like towels over their arms and they were all dressed up and they were my waiters and they had a candlelit dinner ready for me. It was so sweet. It was actually from my favorite restaurant. It's called Mexican Inn. And um, it, he had ordered it to go, but then he got home and, you know, set it all up and put it on nice plates and stuff. It was so sweet. So um, I had a great Valentine's Day. It was a lot of fun. But this is the actual gift he got me which I love this so much and it's pajamas um it's from a company called pajamagram pajamagram I don't know I think he heard about it on the radio in Dallas Fort Worth there is a station called the ticket it's like sports radio and so I think he heard it being advertised on there but I think it's worldwide you know it just shipped to me but what this is I'll insert a clip too <laughs> Yes, I'm filming in this because it's so comfortable, you guys. I asked y'all on Snapchat if it was okay if I filmed in this, and everyone said yes. So, here I am. Anyway, he got it monogrammed, my nickname for Brad, fun fact. Or no, Brad's nickname for me is Booby. That's what he calls me, Booby. And um, so, it says Booby on it, and it's just so comfortable. I am always cold, but I hate wearing pajama pants. So this is perfect. It keeps me warm. It's fleece. It's got a hoodie. It's got matching house shoes with it and but it doesn't have pants. So it's super comfy. I love it. I wanted to mention that. Okay, and to some makeup favorites. I know I did a get ready with me using this product, but I'm not sure if I mentioned how real the love is that I have for this. <laughs> it's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. You guys, this is so good. I'm gonna in a, insert a clip of me demoing it. Now when I first got this, um, and when I first apply it, it does look like it's not gonna be the right match for me. It looks too dark. Mine's in the color Soft Beige but it is so pretty once it's blended out and I kind of take it a little bit down my neck it gives me some color and I don't know I really like this color I was debating on whether to know whether or not to go back and get one shade lighter just to have it on hand but I think this is going to work it says it's light medium but anyway um I love the applicator I love the the texture of this foundation, it's really watery, but it provides a medium coverage. And you can layer it up a little bit and get a little bit fuller coverage, but this is just one layer on my face today. My favorite way to apply it is with the Beauty Blender. At first, I didn't know if I had a preference, but I really like the application with the Beauty Blender. I think this is going to work for dry skin and oily skin. My sister has oily skin, and she tried it, and she really likes it. So, And mine is more dry right now, especially on my cheeks. But it does not cling to dry patches. It, it lasts about 8 to 10 hours on me. It's a good everyday foundation, and it's cheap. From the drugstore and cruelty free yes i love everything about that foundation um and then another thing i got this i got this a couple of years ago and everybody talks about it it is the nyx blush in taupe but people use it as contour um and every time i use it it just seemed to look super muddy on me almost like purpley like i was bruised but lately I don't know why it's been working maybe it's the brush I'm using it with it is the Sigma small contour f05 brush I think that the deal is you have to apply it right on your contour and then lightly blend it upwards and it works um, but I also use this on my eyes in my crease it's a really pretty crease shade especially like today I have on kind of a lilac on my lid and this is really pretty with like purples and lilacs and stuff like that which ironically that's the colors I was feeling this week because of Valentine's Day I was like 
give me lilac and pink and you know baby doll pink and all that stuff so I was liking those colors this week and this was a good transition or crease color for those type of looks so I did like that and then this now you guys this might be limited edition so if it is don't kill me the formula of MAC blushes are really good, but this is a MAC blush in fun ending. And I find that it looked really pretty with all the pinks I was wearing this week and this lilac. And it looks good next to this taupe, like as a blush, you know, on top of this contour shade. So I wanted to mention that. Hopefully, if you have it, fun ending bust it back out it's really pretty um okay so let's talk about lips because I was definitely feeling a specific lip this week and the very first one I want to talk about if you watch me on snapchat you're probably sick of me talking about this this week um it's the max factor lip gloss in pristine nude I think I got this from my friend Kristen in a swap I think and she lives in England, so if you live over, you know, overseas, maybe you can get Max Factor. And also somebody said Amazon has Max Factor. So um, I will try to find this and link it because this gloss is so good. It goes over everything. Today I have it on um, by itself. Actually, I lined my lips with Laura Mercier Plumberry right yeah and I filled them in and then I put this gloss over it this gloss gives you the most beautiful poutiness it works with any lipstick and it is so comfortable I feel like I'm using a lip treatment or a lip oil on my lips this is so good hopefully I'm crossing my fingers that I can find it and link it because it's so good but if you're somewhere where max factor is convenient to get try this gloss girl it is so good now another lipstick that i reached for a couple times this week is an oldie but a goodie it is the nars audacious lipstick in anita anita yes it's so pretty it's just a perfect every day your lips but better shade i love it i highly recommend it the formula is really good on these but if you want to save some money now this isn't a dupe but the formula is so similar with the maybelline matte lipsticks i mean the audacious and the maybelline matte are so similar um the maybelline is actually more creamy honestly these are so they're both so good but this lust for blush maybelline lust for blush is probably man it's so good it's one of my top favorite drugstore lipsticks or lipsticks in general probably it's really good it's an everyday color but it pulls a little bit more pink so it's not a nude but it's just everyday your lips but better yes 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 this is so good the formula is amazing so any color that you like in this matte maybelline line you could do no wrong because the formula is just on point so that is it for my favorites this week i also um got my hair cut it's really short I actually didn't even style it or anything i probably should but um i got a couple of highlights in the top of my hair because you guys know i have been struggling so hard with grays and my aunt who did my hair yesterday she said that if we put some some highlights in it it'll kind of camouflage it so um that's what we did and i like it i like it i want to i want to try this hairstyle curly um you know like with messy waves or whatever that's what i'm gonna do tomorrow i think um but it is short it's a lot shorter in the back too but I like it. It's a good change. It really is. Um, my hair was getting super, like my ends were just super unhealthy. So I needed to kind of chop them off and start fresh. But anyway, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Be safe. Enjoy the moments. That's something that I've been wanting to tell you guys because I have tried so hard in 2017 to just enjoy the moments and not stress so much and not you know be overwhelmed so much and I know I mean I have um, generalized anxiety disorder so I know it's hard it's so hard and I feel like people's New Year's resolutions are kind of fading right now so I just wanted to 
give you guys a gentle reminder to enjoy your moments in life. Um, you know, good vibes only, just positivity and love yourself and all that fun stuff. I've been really having to tell myself that lately, you know, because man, everybody's getting sick. We got stuff going on in the world. Like sometimes you just get caught up in the negativity and it's good to have a reminder to enjoy your moments and stay positive. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.